that was one of the things we had Joe behind the plate. But I remember when Maurer had uh, maybe two of the best series I've ever, I ever saw him have. I bet you there's a number seven on the back of that too. <laughs> Say I feel the same way about Joe Maurer for what he did as a catcher and what he did as a baseball player. But uh, we saw with Joe Maurer move him to first base like that. That's one of those ones when Maurer would have been looking at. Uh, at me or whoever was playing third going, be afraid to call me off. I have to hire Joe Maurer to come up here. And <laughs> <laughs> You've been in a suite here in Target Field? Actually, that Maurer suite is the one that I used to, me and Joe used to share that together. That used to be our suite. When you were playing here? Yeah. I mean, you look at Joe Maurer, was the year he won the MVP, and it's kind of like, you know, when Joe didn't catch in Redmond, I mean, it's a tough role to be in. As I've witnessed it in front of me for so many years with Joe Maurer just never giving at bats away, and I think that's where you know, where Joe Maurer said the challenge arose for him. Much like we used to see Alex Gordon play when Joe Maurer was up, but but this is kind of how I went through my at-bats, you know, being the guy to hit behind Maurer. And Maurer had one of the best at-bats I've ever seen off him, hit a double off the wall, and then Willingham hit a ball in the second deck. You know, as we had with Mike Redman backing up Joe and, and Joe playing 80% of the time or 85% of the time, whatever it was, which I think Joe might have been one of the last ones mm -hmm. to use Ash. Because his number's going to end up very similar to to Joe Maurer's numbers, very similar to what Maurer did, and Maurer did it from the catching position. You know, he's one of those guys, He, it's almost like when you stand next to Joe Maurer, you can't believe how big they are, and a guy who wasn't gonna play a whole lot with Maurer behind the plate, and not a lot of at-bats available. I remember talking to Joe, you know, talking to Maurer about him, he said, there's almost anybody else he'd rather face in the league. You know, that was a guy that Maurer always said, give me almost anybody else, except not, for this guy. Not Chris Hill, not. <laughs> no. And I think that's what Joe, what Mauer talked about, what his issues became, is that the multiple foul tips in the same game in a row. Kind of picture him as a right-handed Joe Mauer. I mean, Joe made, I mean, Joe might have even made the one he got look easier than that right there. Uh, hopefully Joe will get in next year. I don't know if he's going to pass the vote or not, but we'll see. <laughs> I think there's a number on the wall that did that. Mr. Herbeck, absolutely. <laughs> another guy, I think he's from St. Paul, maybe. Mr. Molitor, Mr. Winfield.